if on yes, watch the comments on your phone off of um, off of Scotch and Bourbon books. Facebook yeah. All right, we're live, everybody. Um, tonight, uh, we're gonna quick uh, share to all the Facebook groups. Right, but at the same time, uh, we have Ann Dimmick from OHLQ here to talk a little bit about real quickly what this, what we're tasting tonight. <laughs> so this is, what, this is where Bill grabs the box and reads it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I needed to study ahead I'm through time. falling on grenades. Thank you. Yes. Or, or we all squint at it and go, man, why do they print this so small? <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I came to uh, Scotch Bourbon Royce and brought non bourbon. We're Scotchy bourbon boys. We're that's, all that's whiskey. Okay, okay. All whiskey. It yeah, was you perfect. Know, we it's believe very in, we're, we're diversity and inclusion. Yeah, yeah. This is great. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. If you're a distilled spirit, we'll blog about you. Yes. How yes. can I say this? I brought a, a Sazerac for six. Excellent. That is one of only 10 single barrels released nationwide. Wow. So how about that? Shock and awe. That's pretty cool. You've got one of those like little stickers we all go for. Yeah. But it's actually, it's a great thing. Yeah. This is, what my, this is probably my favorite thing I've tried all year. Really? Awesome. Well, Indian food it's doesn't awesome. usually agree with me, so we'll see if Indian whiskey does. Is that the way that works? I, I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know. What's that? The butter chicken or something? It's really, it's like, it's like the basic girl thing. Yeah. But it's amazing. Yeah. Oh, I'm just that. curry in general. Thai curry, good. Indian curry. Oh, there we go. Yeah. 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 There we are. Now I gotta keep going. All right. I get to do it. I get to share it to everything because it's whiskey, right? But you know, it could go to the bourbon because it, yeah. Just keep pushing that. All right. So it's nine o'clock and. Uh, the, this particular expression, which is Paul John, we are broadcasting for the first time outside of the Scotchy Bourbon Boys Studios here, right. live at the Barrel Room in North Canton, Ohio. So this is kind of thank you, Carrie Sullivan, for letting us have our meetings here. Happy uh, birthday, wonderful. Carrie. Uh, we've Happy got birthday, to Happy my birthday, Carrie. person. Shares my birthday. Yes. Oh, yes, and it's Mrs. Xavier's birthday. Yes, and my also my sister's. So happy, happy birthday, birthday to Michelle. everybody. I have cake here for later. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's and later. what is their sign? What is their sign? What's your sign? Taurus. Taurus, right? Taurus. Taurus the bull. Yeah. Oh, oh I'm a bull. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Karen and I are. I'm sorry. Mrs. Mrs. Xavier and I are the classic case of the unstoppable force. Meets the immovable <laughs> object. Wow. Uh, so that's, okay. Yeah, it's funny because usually when somebody asks my wife what her sign is, and she just says stop. <laughs> <laughs> so we got James watching tonight. Uh, wow, they're so right. So that was straight across. That's that actually we every single time we do these tastings, and tonight we are going to be tasting Paul John single malt Indian. Whiskey, and Anne had informed me that this was actually aged in a Buffalo Trace bourbon barrel. Yes, right? yes. Because nice. because it is a Sazerac product. So I'm when you were telling me about this, I was really excited because uh, normally, well, I've never had an Indian single malt, so that's one. But I've had a lot lately American single malts, and I kind of like what's happening in that. I think that's the next whiskey kind of thing that's coming up because almost every distillery that's making bourbon or rye and whatever now rye is in its kind of peak right now i think but as far as the the single malts coming up that's really something you know especially american single malts you know so but then you have an indian single malt and this is going to be really kind of interesting right Can I ask another question is it india indian or yes, is it yes, american yes. No. indigenous no, person india, india. indian yeah. India, India. Well, so, it's good. Well, it's it's good. Yeah, yeah. I, just, whiskey. I just wanted to know. I, I just I needed to know if I could call a fire alarm. 
Wow. So it's okay. It's <laughs> what? Wow. Did you did you know that, Brandon? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yes. Holy okay, I would man. love to hear what you think about it. Grapes. It smells like chocolate grapes. It is. It is I get actually, like it's I'm not bourbon, but it's like this big burst of flavor. Yeah. There's so yeah. much it's going good. on. Yeah. It's so. Wow. You know, you know, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of your Chardonnay. Is what reminds me. Of. I can't. I can't. Like, no, no. I, I get <laughs> sweet, but there. I, I'm not getting, too, getting. I'm not getting any wine aspect for some oh reason. God, I don't know so. why. But I get. It's it's like a caramel flower to me. Like very floral. That's what I'm thinking. Hey Jeff, vanilla. Are you gonna do that nonsense where you lay your glass on the side? Yeah, I'm gonna table? explain everything. Okay, so everybody, uh, just so you know, we're the Scotchy Bourbon Boys. Uh, if you want, I'm Tiny. This year's Roxy. We have Xavier. We have whiskey. Um, and we have Mrs. Xavier in the audience in the tonight. Wings. It's, it's her. Mm -hmm. It's her birthday, so happy birthday! Happy we said birthday. that. But, and, and then Love we have life. we have Anne from. Are you talking about the bourbon, bourbon or her? Bourbon Annie. Oh, there you go. oh. Yes, that's, oh. Right. that's your Instagram. <laughs> bourbon Annie. Okay. Yeah, except she really could become Annie Oakley. That would be perfect. No, for I'm actually not that good. You're not no. that good? No. Yeah. <laughs> the husband's here. No, yeah, I'm no, not that right. good. No. Because yeah. <laughs> you, 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 you're not a sharpshooter, huh? So we can't call you a little shirt. <laughs> so it's bourbon. She's bourbon and little, no, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then I get upset. I don't like things I'm not good at. It's not a problem. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, uh, uh, now I've completely okay. So you can check us out. Uh, we podcast. We're on we're on Facebook. We're also on Instagram, YouTube. We're pretty much all over everywhere. Any uh, your favorite podcast format, we're there. Check out the Scotchy Bourbon Boys. But for tonight on Whiskey Live, we're like once again very excited. Uh, the Paul John, John, we have it in our glasses. We've kind of nosed it a little bit. Oh, man, we didn't now when you, when when you get to take, I know we have, we have I had it. Song. It's all right. It's all right. Sometimes. So um, it, we're tasting in the uh, whiskey tasting glass. It's a Glen Karen. Uh, courtesy. Voyage. Right, right. Courtesy of Martin Duffy of the Glen Karen Glass Company. So if you're interested and you want any kind of co uh, corporate logo or company logo, he can set you up. He Just is the look North him American up. representative of the Glen Karen Glass Company, and he will take care of you. Thank you, Martin. So this is the, the Supreme glass. It's got a teardrop shape. And the reason for that is a couple things. One, as the whiskey sits in the bottom, uh, as it the aromas co come to the top, it basically condenses it to the top so that you can smell it. It has two different tiers for smelling. One, if you smell it right off the bottom, it's still, you can you get a nice, uh, you get the aroma. But if as you smell on the bottom and go to the top, Usually, you can get other flavors north towards the top, and that's all based on how it's funneled by the how it's funneled up on the glass. So, great glass. Another thing you can do is uh, I think I can put this up here, and I don't have too much of a pour. You put it on your side on its side. Oh, here it goes. You can roll it, and then when you pick it up, if you look. You can see how it sticks to the glass, and this is a very unique one because it's actually staying towards the top, and on the bottom, it's forming thick. You see that? How it's forming that thick legs on the bottom? I mean, that's just unique, and it sticks on the side for a while. So that allows you to understand the viscosity of what's going on in your glass. Uh, if it's a thinner bourbon, a lot of times it'll go back in quickly. Um, thin, thin droplets, or they call them legs, back in. But if it's a if it's got a lot of uh, fatty, acids. fatty acids, thank you, uh, that allows it to stick and stay. I mean, some of them, if you actually reach in there and touch the side of the glass, it's actually sticky. I mean, that's just a, a bizarre thing. So anyways, then it has this nice base so that you can hold it, look at it, see color. This is definitely... Uh, you're supposed Golden to hold it by the face caramel. so you don't heat up the bourbon. Right. So don't pay attention to my finger sponges on my glass. But right. That's the way you're supposed to hold it. Yep. It allows you to grab it like that and look at it, but also you're not heating it up with your with your body temperature. <laughs> yeah. 
So anyways. And the glass doesn't look nearly as funky when you hold it up so in now, the camera. So now I know this 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 nose is I really like this nose. Uh, oh yeah, this is really nice. There's a lot going on with that. Oh now I'm interested. Let's let's give it a taste. We. Oh, I'm just saying. It's like so God. it's so flavorful. Did you say what? What she is? Said, wee, like, wee, oh, we. Oh, like, I thought you were wee, talking wee. French for a second. I'm like, is this wee, no, like we? Like, like, like yes. Like a backyard yeah. swing. Like like wee. wonderful. Yeah. Big tree backyard swing. Oh yeah. Hmm. Super bright, and it just hits all all the ends. Spectrum. Well, it's an insane body. Yeah, there's no there's doubt a, about it. There's a lot of flavors in there that you don't get in a burger. Oh yeah, that's very true. Yeah, that. I mean, that's a. But it's a flavor of a single. Like if you've drink single malts, that is the flavors. I mean, you get into those the Irish whiskeys and and you get into some of the scotches that aren't peated. I mean, peated scotch is a whole different right. game. Right. But you get into those, and you're talking fruity. You're talking, yeah. there's light, uh, thin. I mean, I absolutely love I Japanese whiskey. I definitely prefer my scotch not peated. So. Yeah. Peated. <laughs> I know, right? Damn. Damn. Not blown smoke. <laughs> Here we go. I'm just stating facts. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, yes. Uh, it, it takes, uh, this is pretty complex. Wouldn't you say, wouldn't you say that's the way to describe it? Yeah. Like, right. it's, it's not a, now the, the I mean, the Kentucky hug on this is pretty intense. Yeah, it's got a great. Uh -huh. I've been warmed inside. James, oh, I should, I, I can do this. I am getting a taste. <laughs> and, and I know this because I just had some the other night. I'm getting, although this is. What I had the other night was more candy than sweet. I'm getting a taste of dates. Dates? Dates. Because yeah. you had one. No, I mean, now you you can pull that out because you ate dates and figs. That that's what you said. Yeah, no, they're on a date night. What I had was definitely more sugar than this, but I mean, I'm, getting, I'm getting a date or possibly a fig taste. I don't know. But I, that's, why I went, that's why I went with yeah. figs because dates are real, like, candy. Right? They're like candy. It, it's, a, candy. It's, a, it's a fig, dude, and that some, some nasty, some dried, no, gritty right stuff on the outside. So, are you watching? Because I'm yeah. sure. Oh, Somehow please. we're getting. We just timed out. So I no. yeah, I was watching. Yeah, get back in there because well, I, because I need to know what's happening on the other one. We always do this, and you see the comments, and they come across. Okay, but that's based off of this. Oh no! What? The, did you share again now? I don't know where I left off. Well, get back on that. I mean, we got a couple more minutes. So you don't. You, you don't. have the same last name, right? Yes, but oh, he's not well, on then, social then we'll media. Get, we'll give out a shout out to James then. Yeah, not this James, this James. Oh, James that's okay. online. Yes. I'm like that James. You know, that's yeah, funny because no, last week, well, Thanks last time we back. did it, James, you were on, but now you're actually here. So some of the people who normally come on and, and just talk with us, well, you're actually here. So feel free to talk while... While, while we're doing this. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Just drop yeah, it out there. This thing is being rude. Avoid the F-bombs. So. No. <laughs> so we're going to do tonight, everybody that's that's tasting, we're going to have to include you in the rating system. Scotchy Bourbon Boys Whiskey Live rating system is nose, body, taste, finish, 25 for each category. So as you go about, you know, uh, we'll we'll go over the nose yeah. first. We'll nose cover that. Nose and then oh. We're gonna be wild tonight. Okay, so we're gonna do it backwards. Yeah. We're gonna yeah. Say the name of the witch again. This is called Paul John Indian Single Malt Whiskey. So it is. So Bill, you still got a taste down there? Select. This is a, you still got a taste? Yeah, I do. So, so go ahead and take a taste, swallow, and then I'm going to say something at the finish. I want, I want your opinion. I was going to say it now. Anna. 
110.4. Now, hey, Brandon, this so is the longer the fish like sits, the more it turns to anise. Yeah. Don't get excited, Jeff. Um, I said anise. I mean, just no, like you got a little bit to it. <laughs> yes. yeah, right, I, right. I, I, I really. <laughs> I would give it over 100. Whiskey, you can't sure. hear that. I know. It's so good. Martin I mean, if says, I didn't know that. Hey, y'all. Hi, Ann. <laughs> Martin, oh, that's Super Nash. Yes. Super Nash. Yeah, super Nash. Nice. So, so, so do you, do you, do you give it? The longer it sits for me, that after the swallow, it's, uh, fitting for I get okay. anise. I just know it a more. And that, just the whole structure of that sentence Jeez. makes me nervous. But <laughs> Say fennel. Yeah. There you go. Fennel? Yeah. And it's reduced root form. How about <laughs> how about licorice? Yeah, there you go. That's definitely. You know, I get a licorice more, thing. It's, it's more way, the, the way spice the back end. or like star anise. It's more of a star anise yeah. taste. Yeah, not, not the licorice taste. Maybe it's yeah. bad. I would have never picked it up had you not said it. But, it but, yeah, but so, like so our palates yeah, are so, so different. Like, I wanted yeah, to see if you could tell. Star anise uh, in your well, tea, I, I can't you know, disagree with you. There's something there, and it's probably yeah. that. Yeah, it's but, but I, would, I would have never gone there. On you my just own, did, you just didn't have the. Hey, I just don't have that. I just don't have that. Did you say that? Yeah. No, I didn't say that. Okay, we don't know anything. So where did licorice? Did I just saw licorice. No, it's like a, like a like an anise, like a. See, like a, but like a, I'm not. I started it. But like the not. herbal, <laughs> fresh herb of like a star anise. Yeah. Or licorice. No, I get I get black that, licorice. licorice. Well, that is that anise. Thing going. What's the same thing? thing? This doesn't have that. I don't this get bitter sweeter. licorice thing going. Not in this. Not in this whiskey. Like actual licorice. I love licorice, and there's no bitterness to it. No, but I don't get it until it's all the way done and it's like setting and the, and the finish is starting to fade. Yeah, maybe the come back. And then yeah, it comes, it, it comes in to. right at the yeah, back you know, end. Maybe there's it's like very a, neat kind of aftertaste. It's a, that, it's a guy that it's a guy that drinks yeah, bourbon, it's, it's bourbon, fresh, bourbon, like it. bourbon, it's and local it's craft beer. Um, this is very different for me. Did anybody pick up fruit on the first sip? Yeah. yeah. Blood orange. It was, it was, it was, it was what the heck? What the heck? Maybe a little bit of like what's happening? Somehow you have two. What? I, I was, I was, I was Here, let me, hey, I'll take one of those off your hands. Drinker, yeah. folks. I'm like, <laughs> where did one get more? We're saying it was very much. There's the, Bill's. There's mine. Oh, you don't watch that. It's yours and yours. No, in my sheet of like a Chardonnay. Or a Riesling, a little bit. I or more yeah. like a Riesling. Yeah, yes. Riesling. Yes, yeah. more yeah. like a sweet Riesling. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. Well, for Muscat, almost. I'm yeah. impressed, yeah. Xavier. Like What's the matter? Sure. I'm impressed. Because I didn't even think that you ever even, wine even never touched your lips, let alone wine. I'm Italian. It's my freaking question. There's like an upper vent. Just so you know, yeah, yeah. Chardonnay's yeah. French. You said it was a What's that? Chardonnay's French. It's not Italian. It's an Well, that's okay. I just said I know wine. I didn't see. I know Chardonnay's French. I know wine, too. I've been married 25 years. Or, or I, that, you, I get it. I know whining too. It, I, 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 I'm just saying that. But this you know, is very good. Never mind. Yes, yeah. I know. I know I can see why it's your favorite. How can you not? This is lovable. It's lovable. Thank you for sharing it. It shouldn't be yeah, called, awesome. called John, it should be called Man Given. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I find it funny that they named an Indian whiskey Paul John. Oh. I know. I was, that, the that, same. That, like, I was like, that sounds very American. I mean, that's like the guy that answers yeah. like the AT and T. Is it more line. rich? Is it more you know? religious? No. So I keep calling it the wrong thing at work. He's I laughing because he knows the story. Because I'm like yeah. Paul, John, John, Paul. I'm like, you know, like the Pope, but not. Yeah. It's the opposite <laughs> of the Pope <laughs> when I was growing up. That's yeah. it. Well, Jeff <laughs> called it Paul Jones. I was gonna say, what did he? Quit singing, you know. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. Well, I do things wrong, man, but man, I did you know. say yeah. that. I called it Paul John, but we. But I think it. I think it plays like Paul McCartney. I wonder if anyone out there has tried. It. So yeah. Well, has anyone out there tried this? If you have, try it. Anybody? You have not. So let's let's uh, start off with the notes. Let's let's give it, go around. We can start. Uh, we'll start with. Uh, Roxy, and then go towards it. Why don't you start with me and go this way? And then we won't lose our place. So the nose, the nose is an unusual nose because, as you yeah. pointed out, Tiny, the characteristics of the Glen Glass and what what whiskey was saying earlier, 
you know, what you inhale and taste down here versus up here is two different things. You know, it starts out fruity, but then you get like a a, a, a bread or yeast uh, taste to it, or, you know, nose to it. Uh, the fruit is, um, like I say, we're talking like a Chardonnay wine or a recent wine. It's some kind of grape, maybe, maybe a hint of tangerine. One of our fellow tasters said mango. Uh, there's definitely some fruit there, uh, but it's but again, but you really get the strong yeast taste too. So it's it's an unusual nose. It's a pleasant nose. I give the nose. I give the nose a 22. That's a good score. A 22? Yes. Okay. That was a lot. That was a lot of words to get to a nose. Yes, I I will be short and sweet and brief and say I give the nose a 21. Wow. Okay. The nose on this is so appealing. I I put it like in my life. There are certain things I like to smell, and one of my favorite things on the planet to smell is breakfast blend by Starbucks, but not <laughs> not brewed in the bag. Okay, so you take it ground and you and you squeeze the bag, and I could just smell that smell that comes out all day, and that's what this is like. Uh, and I'm gonna say this: there's a Mars of this is what I what like I don't know if it tastes or, or if that's what it, you know what I mean? Brown but taste. that that Brown no but when I smell Mars of Man, it has the same feel. Mars of it, it, it's not doesn't exactly smell like Mars of Man, but it has that same whatever's going on that I Dude, really you get, love. You got people Googling Mars of Man. Yeah, I always thought Mars of Pan was an island of the it's northern Mariana. Oh I know. Tastes like almonds. Hey James, it's read almonds. us out what marzipan it's an is. Paste. Come on, buddy. Marzipan is like Bring almond Bring it. And usually just they speak up real loud so the mic picks you up. It is a yeah, confection. It's covered in chocolate. Marzipan. Wait, we got it. It's it's a confection. It's a confection. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. So yeah. So I'm the fact that I just I'm, I, I'm not going to give this like. I just have to give it a twenty. It's a twenty-four on the nose. It's one of the best wow. noses I've ever. That's a great score. Honestly, I wanted to go up from somewhere. So okay, and, and you're not calling him up. I'm going to give it a butt up. more words than I You give it a butt up. a word. You know, I'm just going to say that once Jeff gets on a roll, it takes us both to interrupt. <laughs> interrupt me away, buddy. But, but I, I, that was a lot of words. It was a lot of words. Yeah, but you called but me you out on it, but you didn't call him out on it. I'm just going to I'm gonna congratulate you. Yeah. You're, 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 you're prejudiced. I'm going to congratulate Jeff for using a three syllable word correctly. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Mars of Pan. That's three people. <laughs> yeah. It's awesome tonight. It's amazing what happens when you give whiskey whiskey. <laughs> it's Ann's turn. I'm going to say all these years in bourbon, and I still don't totally know what Mars of Pan is. And I even made it during the stay at home mom years. So remember, I rolled it out. It was like, not, it doesn't. I don't remember it being a positive experience, but that could be like me. So, but but <laughs> no, no, but, but okay, but fun. but but uh, when you were rolling it, were you it wasn't the experience of what you were tasting or smelling; it's what yeah. you were trying to do with it, right? Right, right. Yes. You put it over a cake, and it yeah. was supposed it's to look tricky. Good and... Yeah, yes. Wasn't that what that was? I'm wrong. Okay. I'm going to over a cake is fondant. Oh. Oh. Oh, do you, you want to see fondant? Look. Now I we, still don't we, know what no, 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 no. Cross fond it off the list. You got to put it back on. Right. See that? Fondant. Right? Fondant. Yeah. fondant is yeah. that. That's yeah, it. Yeah. We did that, that today. Fondant. Exactly what you talked. Oh, mine, mine, mine didn't look like that. It was like not, not good. Okay. What, what we're talking about, folks, is is, is Roxy made a delicious cake. A delicious cake and a delicious brownie cake. In honor of uh, Carrie Sullivan's and Mrs. Xavier's birthday, mm -hmm. and I think she put meth in them because you want to just keep eating and eating. And I eating. did. There, was, there, 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 it just, wait, this is fond of cake right to die here. for. Hey, it, it, it heals. Hey, Bill. <laughs> but it's chocolate fondant, so it's delicious. You can't say meth That's on a podcast. Because like oh, okay. right, right, it's allocated in Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was, it was, I was in the hyperbole, though. Whiskey, I wasn't really okay. Saying so what do you yes. what what do you smell and your score? 
So I didn't know what to expect the first time when I got to try this. Didn't know if I would like it or not. And it's kind of like the best of a dry Riesling. Like a really not, we're not talking like a cheap end cap, you know, whatever. Like a really nice dry Riesling with like that slight effervescence to it. Yeah. And then as you move through, it has like all the best wafts that you smell when you go to a great distillery combined with like all the greatness of like your favorite dry effervescent Riesling. It's like all my favorite things in one thing. So I give this a 24. All right. I do love that. All right, whiskey, you're up to bat. I'm just enjoying the hell out of reading the subtitles from Facebook. Uh oh. Because it's all the best wax that Dan has enjoyed in life. And uh, I just, I love that. Um. <laughs> all the best wax. All the best wax. I just, um, cross country skiing. James, James just gave me a, just asked if I was a spokesman for Sasser. <laughs> no, he's just a spokesman for all bourbon. I have oh, whiskey, never, really? Whiskey, yeah, yeah. I love, I, I mean, I, if anybody ever meets me, I mean, it's really tough because I love whiskey so it's hard to find something i actually don't like i mean there's some but overall you know so what did you what did you give the nose uh, i tell you i so i'm i i will tell you i'm a bird i'm a bourbon purist so this is a little out of my comfort zone but uh i actually really like this i like it a lot um the nose is very bold to me um i get a lot of blood orange from it uh that fruitiness that you guys are calling something uh, for me, it's blood orange, um, something that we have around the house. So uh, I'm going to give it like a 23. It's 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 bold. It's in my nose, um, and um, you know, and I'm usually the Russian judge. So that's I mean, I, that I mean, this is pretty awesome to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah, you're not the contrarian indicator on this. I am not. All right, no. Nope. So, Mrs. Zikaya, right. what did you think of the nose? She forgot what we were drinking. <laughs> I, I, I get a lot of yeast, a lot of corn, a lot of wheat, and I'm a rye girl. Oh, okay. Okay. So this is not for you. So this is, this is, it, it's okay, but it's not my favorite. You know, I just, I'll just interject. You're going to give a score though, right? Yeah. What's your score? I'm, I'm going to say about a 19. 19? That's still strong. I was expecting something like you don't a like. 16. Yeah, I was like, you know, 14, 13, like when John doesn't like something, so, like a 12. So, so again, I feel like we should give a shout out to Carrie in the girl room. Yes. And, and then the Proctor girls, which are the caterer that came tonight to supply our food. Right. And as I was going through the line, I noticed uh, one of them said, boy, I, I said, man, this all smells delicious. And she goes, well, you smell really good. And I said, it's a little something I put on I like to call bathing. And... Uh, <laughs> She was. Uh, she didn't talk. She, she she didn't talk to me after that. So I just. I have that effect on a lot of us. So Brandon, Brandon, what do you know? Wise, do you like it? Yeah. What do you give it? Out of twenty-five. Yeah, I was kind of on the fence. Um, I'm gonna go with twenty-three. Wow. Oh, oh that's 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 good. Good. That's you can sip it and take it right. 23. What do you give it? Honestly, I think it tastes better than it smells. Okay. Nice. So I'm going to go with the 24. Wow. It's still strong. All right, James. James. Another girl. 21. I actually have to say something. Uh, so what do you want to give it? I would say more like 24. Okay. Uh, okay, Danny, are we going? Are you going to give it a no? Are you going there? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fine. All right. So we're going to go. Xavier, what do you think? We've tasted this now. What are you going to give your taste? Okay. Um, mm -hmm. One of the reasons I rated the nose of 21 and not higher like you guys is I didn't think that the nose telegraphed. I thought they gave it 21 or 22. 22. 22 because I gave it 21 and you gave it 22. Oh, that's right. You got under me. Well. 22. Yeah. It's the new 21. Yeah, it's the new 21. Okay, well. But at any rate, why I didn't no. give it higher was I didn't think the nose telegraphed the taste. And one of my half-baked requirements for, for any spirit is I think the nose should indicate what it's going to taste like. 
And I think the nose came up short on that. Now the taste is really an explosion of flavors. You get more of the fruitiness in the taste. Um, and it sort of replaces the heavy yeast and yeah. wheat smell that you get. And uh, I, I think it's a very pleasant taste. I, it's, it's, uh, I wouldn't call it sweet, but it's not bitter. Uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say the taste is a 24. It's a great taste, it's a great taste. So I rated the nose 21 because I wanted to bump up significantly to the taste. Because the taste is really a, so, it's a variety of so many different flavors. It's light, it's fruity, it's, as Dan said, effervescing. There's like some figs, some, you know, some Yeah, honey. some extra dates, I left that out. Yeah, there's some, yeah. uh, you know, we, we talked about a little bit of that um, anise flavor, there's some fennel, there's, there's so many different flavors, and the, the taste is so appealing that I will give the taste a 24 pulse, because it's it's right up there, it's, it's one of the tastiest whiskeys you've ever had. It's very unusual. Yeah. So, so you know what we didn't do? What's the proof of this? Well, we did it. You weren't listening. I was probably one ten point four. It's fifty five point two, right? Yep. One ten point four. Yep. Select cast, unpeated, single malt whiskey, non chill filter, hundred and ten point two. Do we got a mash bill? Single malt, so it's just and barley. They, yeah, and they go really easy. Yeah, really like, so which I, was, I read about this before. I should have like studied before I came on tonight. Um, yeah, I should have studied before I came on tonight. But the the terroir of where it's grown makes for a completely different end product. That you know, when they start with the grain. There's just so yep. many things that go into making a spirit that influence that final flavor profile. This was beyond what I was expecting. Oh, for sure. And then, and then the rarity of it, right? Right. There's, there's that, but I mean, sometimes those can be like marketing stories. I mean, this is one of ten barrels, and I'm like, oh, okay. And then I try it. Oh, I, so, I need to go get another bottle of that. <laughs> and uh, okay, so I'm gonna, but but it also is a Sazerac product. So, so it's it's, uh, it's a division of Sazerac. I guess they they own part of this. I'm not quite sure, but it's kind of like it operates as a separate division than the one that we're all familiar with, the Eagle Rare and the what. It's like right, different right, right. people and oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's it's India. I mean, yeah, right. there's no doubt. But the no, company no, itself yeah. is. The, I mean, I, you, what they decide to buy, I think, really. Uh, has to do with the quality of the whiskey that's being made. I mean, Sazerac bought Buffalo Trace because. Yes. I give this whiskey because I the, I think the nose does match the taste because I do get the marzipan. I get more almonds on it now that I've been tasting. The more I taste it, I get a lot more the almond aspect, almost a. It's almost, it's like an amaretto without the cherry. Mm -hmm. You know, like that cherry juice taste at the amaretto. It's like that. That's what it's like. And it is very rich. The more, now the more I've been drinking, the richer it gets. It's almost like when I first tasted it, it was fruity. But now that I'm drinking it more, what happens is you're getting almost like a dessert aspect to it, right? A dessert like a pork, like a thick pork, like as any, I, I don't know. So I'm going to stay with the 24. Wow. So what I like about this one is, and we, we were drinking bourbon before this, and some really great ones. I had a couple mm -hmm. so um, that were totally different personalities. But this has, I keep going back to that effervescence, and that it, it just hits like, everywhere in your mouth with all of these different flavors yeah. and i like like the amaretto kind right. of thing so but not like sickly sweet it has no. all these different points which is so rare i'm trying to think of another another bottle that i've tried 
that drinks like this, and I can't think of one. You know, so I think it's a unique character. What you see there, the rest of the final hit me. It, 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 in some respects, it reminds you of like an Ostis Pomonte or something like that. The way it just not huh? right. Yeah, but not like. Cheap and basic. No, no, yeah. not Classy. Yes. I'll, Classy. Give you, I'll give you something that hits the same way. It's okay. rare, uh, you, rare, breed. rare breed. My favorite. Thing. Rare yeah. breed, but 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 like wild turkey. But this this hits with multiple yeah. flavors. Where that hits the same way with just caramel to me. Yeah. So, but that's that's still that fullness. Like yes. like you're surprised once again. It's like when when you start the more you start tasting whiskey across the board, and you can't believe that people can make the flavors from just aging it in a barrel and and whatnot. And you're not adding flavors or you're not doing this. All the different tastes that they can. It really teaches your whole mouth how to taste. So what what do you give us? So I give this a twenty four, and I love that you mentioned rare breed because one of the things I love about it is because it hits both ends of the spectrum. So you've got like the really deep, bold, you know, oaky flavors, and then you have like that sweet, hot that's in both ends. So I just love that. You're up. Whiskey. I'm a 24. Thanks. We, we were all 24s, were we now? No. Okay, yeah, we're really 24 across the You guys don't usually score this easy. No, right? no, no, no. Like, no, not we only no, score no, this. So, pay the, off the I judges. Mean, like, I don't know. It's not scoped. No, because no, even the Russian no, that's, judges. That's if it's good, it's so. good. Yeah. Right. If it's good, it's good. I mean, I mean, usually there's sometimes we have Two. people with different palates, and it's like we're all going, you know, 23s, 22s, and then yeah. someone's down well, in 15, 16. 16. So, Mrs. Xavier, Mrs. Xavier. pull her down. <laughs> pull her down. Pull it down. 21 and on the notes. What are you giving on the taste? On the taste, I'm, I'm going to say about a 21. Okay. That's pretty high. It's still pretty high. Yeah. For, yeah. Still but once again, you're like you're similar to me. I know you like the rye bourbons and you like rye, but you just like whiskey too. You know, I haven't ever heard her say, "I don't like that whiskey at all. Get it away from me." <laughs> that hasn't happened yet. That's not gonna happen. Okay, Brandon. Brandon, thank you. What are the other scored? Like the other parts? Yeah, I just asked that same question. I'm like, wait, what's left? The body and the fish. Yeah. Body and finish. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, See, Anne's paying attention. Why can't you turn on? I just asked the question. <laughs> I think I'm going to stick with 23 right now, but really? we're going down for body. Man, you guys See, really? Yeah. Wow. I'd like These to are some that. high scores. It doesn't, to me, it doesn't stay the same. He's already scoring on body. Yeah. See, I like so, that okay, so let's just talk about what, look, that's what I love about whiskey and, and tasting, because for me, Body is all, it has nothing to do with taste to me, okay? If it tasted like shit, okay? You, <laughs> and, and it was horrible, but it basically. But going back to your time in Kelly. But it hit it all. Shit filled your mouth. Yeah, like completely <laughs> filled your mouth with shit. And I've done it once on a podcast where I gave, you, I gave it on a taste shit. of zero, but I gave it a 24 on the body because it was so horribly in my mouth that the body it got, got 24. Right. So for me, the body is not what it actually tastes like, but how, like there's some bourbons that just slide across your tongue, nothing. But if it hits your cheeks, your top of your roof of your mouth, and then the underneath yeah. your tongue, that's to me the body. What is the body to and you? That's, and that's fair. So I like if it makes your gingivitis really hurt, it's got a great body. Right. And yeah. I mean, I'm on the same page, but I look at it as activating different parts of its own. You know, you got sweet, savory, all that. Yeah. If it's not hitting everything as I move through it, it's only in one or two. To me, the body doesn't stand out. So, I just, I guess I coordinate both of them. And, and you're not wrong. No, you're not. I mean, I probably am, but... <laughs> Uh, James says, I thought only Shooter McGavin ate shit for breakfast. <laughs> Did you post that? Because that's awesome. That is he, awesome. James, he, that no, is I awesome. Gave, I gave James, couldn't agree more on the rare breed. It's been one of the few bottles I've always keep on the shelf. Same here. It's not like Kentucky Spirit Matter. Okay. It is my standard. It's my home base yeah. that I go from forever. Maybe I have Kentucky Spirit Matter. All right. Uh, Caitlin? I definitely like the taste better than the smell. I think it is very much like a uh, 
hot tea with lemon and honey. Really and I really like those flavor profiles. I love so that. I'm gonna I like that. Lemon, that's really good. I think you're gonna like wanna talk to Ann about how you can get one of <laughs> Because it's hot tea. Yeah. Right? Warm that really... warm that baby up. No, that's well, that's you know what? That's this... that's a great tasting though. Good, that is good, a fantastic good comparison. Taste, this yeah. is jump from a gun, but I was talking to her like if you're in a very watered down dram buoy, blend it with the heart bag beach ale, obviously not as beefy. That's what it reminds me of. Whatever that baby would look like. Okay. James. That baby would look like Jeff. <laughs> My taste and, like and you know what? He's got a good body. He, he'd be wearing a dumb hat too. <laughs> You're such a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that's solid, man. All right. Yeah. Yeah. This is crazy. I think. There's no bad scores here. Everybody no. likes this stuff. Yeah, even the yeah, Russian score judge is still scoring in the twenties. You know. Yeah. 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 All right. Next is body. All right. That means I'm up the bat, right? Okay. <laughs> you are. Swing away. So, for the body, I guess I'm a little bit tiny's camp, but it should fill your mouth with the camp. How does this not fill your mouth with the way it ever presses around? Yeah, it's nice. um, the taste definitely, you lose some of the fruitiness as it goes further back, and you pick up more um, of a bitterness. I, I, I guess not horribly bitter, but you know, it's bitter as compared to sweet. But it's, God, you can't read it bad. Um, so I think I've, I've got to give the body a 23 on this. It's good. Okay. Um, I do also classify a body as whether it hits all those different points in the mouth, the tip of the tongue, the sides of the tongue, the insides of my cheek, the roof of my mouth. So uh, this really does a good job, but maybe not as, I'm not going to give it as high a score as the taste, but I will give it a little higher score than the nose, so I'm going to give the uh, body a 23. All right. Uh, all right. So the body is all over the place. It's, it doesn't quite hit 25 for me, so I'm going to have to say I'm just going with 24 because it does, the flavor is throughout. It's just yeah. that simple. Oh, yeah. it's, it's, it, it doesn't quite, you know, like that really, the, when you give a body off of a, a Kentucky barrel strength bourbon, that's so much, it just fills completely. This doesn't quite all the way, but it is only 110 proof. It's not 135, right? I mean, so... I think uh, it's damn good. For, I mean, giving a body for 110.4 proof is uh, giving a 24 is still pretty high. Yeah, that's very much. I am so I love that this hits all points of like inside your mouth and it's like bright, effervescent. There is sometimes this velvety characteristic that you can get from an amazing bourbon that that sort of like riding on a velvet carpet you know all that kind of stuff that's not there but this sparkle aspect is just lovely so uh just it's very sparkly it doesn't have that velvety thing going on but it's very sparkly it's always good. I love. All right, whiskey. So, um, I'm kind of a convert here. I'm, I'm usually a bourbon purist. This being a whiskey, um, I got to tell you, I'm going to give it a 24. This thing for me, I mean, the body gets in all. This is this is one of those comments that Tiny usually makes. This reaches all the good parts. You know, um, oh, I thought you were going to say it tasted like chocolate. Yeah. Well, you know what's funny? I was about to make a comment about that. <laughs> so um, I, I just think I think I think that Tiny didn't say it tasted like chocolate because I'm here. But uh, no, the, uh, it tasted like marzipan. So the, the uh, syllable word. The thing I apparently don't know. Yeah, 
and but Jane's helped us out. It's a confection. It's like, no, that's fine. Huh? This is very fine. So um, for me, I'll tell you, the body is so strong here. It's actually reaching back around the back of my palate. And I am almost getting a second nose of it. It's so weird to me. That's um, the effort. That's I mean, it's either that yes, or yes. it could be that I have a cleft palate or something going on. But no, I mean, no, it's, well, back there. I mean I, it's so it's strong, it's coming back. back, 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 back. Yes, yep. uh, but I will tell you this, and, and Tiny, I'm, I'm, I'm sad that you finished your glass because I nosed mine oh, again while you were talking. And uh, I did drive. you know what's funny? Now that it's been I've in already this, had three glasses. Now, now, now that this is in the glass and it's been you know, warming, um, you're not going to believe this, but I actually get ever so lightly in the back of the nose a little bit of cocoa. And I'm like, oh, God. Uh, here, come, here comes Mueller. Oh. Uh, and I never get chocolate. Exactly. Anything. I've converted it. There's that there is there, chocolate there, in whiskey. In the very, so now that you're in view, it's been open for a while. Right. And it's all the way, like, kind of just subtle in the background. The nose is opening up, and there's just this this little layer of cocoa. And I'm like, I hate Jeff right now. I literally, I hate Tiny. But I think that's because the flavors are great, but they're also subtle at the same time. They're not like crazy in your face. And I'm usually a big fan of crazy in your face flavor. Yeah. This one is like very but, balanced and like bright across the board. And, but the, when it's crazy in your face, it's it's usually not complex. No. So we're that's why I think you yeah. guys think of it like a wine because wines are always a little bit more complex than whiskey to me. So the complexity of this is pretty cool. What did you uh, give it? 21? 20, no, 24. 24. Okay, four. Yeah. We're up to Mrs. House. Xavier. I'm going to say 23. Ooh. Oh, the Russian yeah. judge. Like the, the got a 23. Like Evidently. It's not overpowering, but it's there to just like light up every taste bud. Um, it sounds like Paul John landed the, the quadruple lutz. <laughs> Brandon. Brandon. <laughs> Is this the high school yeah. bourbon? Doing? <laughs> no, Xavier likes to make them all. But it's either hit or miss. Either it's a hundred or. <laughs> so the body is going to score better. Totality of the one twenty-two. Wow. That's so pretty. Right. I mean, I didn't say it's going that far. It's just the first. I mean, it hits, but like I said to me, it, it targets one area after the third set, and then it stays there. Okay. All right, well, that's still a good score. That's good. Yeah, these are all good scores. Wow. Yeah. Now we're up to Caitlin. Caitlin. I'm definitely going to say it has a lot of body. Uh, it's really hitting everywhere and it's sticking around. And like, it's probably like five minutes between sips and it still is there. Yeah. I'm going to give it a 24. Wow. Excellent. Just Jane, like you're drinking red wine, you know that, right? Oh, yeah. Well, now I am. Okay, I'm just going to point that out. Cause, Thank you, Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah it's, I ordered it. Did you? I did. Well, that's better than the I'm red wine. I'm glad, Kaylin, that you're aware. That, that's better than the red <laughs> wine stork dropping a vine, because you don't know what's in it. Is it better? Because that sounds pretty magical. Not, well, like unicorns. <laughs> yeah, she is. All right, James. So, James. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> 22. 22 on the bike? Okay. All right, that brings us to finish. Xavier. The finish, it's not as strong as a bourbon or long lasting, but it's a pleasant finish. And the bitterness that you pick up on the back palate as you go to finish, that's gone again, and it's replaced by fruit. Um, it, it's a really, it's a really pleasant finish. Uh, if there was a little more heat to it, I'd give it a 25. I'm going to give it a 24. Wow! Oh wow! It's a great finish. Gosh! Just for the record, Xavier and I are in the same camp tonight. That never happens. Yeah, you yeah. are. So the finish is significantly lengthy, yeah. although it's not super warm like a bourbon. It still has a lot of wonderful flavors. So yeah, there's still so many great, interesting flavors. That's where I got a little bit of the cocoa and a little bit of the marzipan. 
a little bit of anise. So I will give the finished. Um, so not as high as the the taste. So a twenty three. So the taste has got to be the highest. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, yes. <laughs> and true. So, and then the finish to me is secondary and important because it's what's what's left. Right. Right. You know, what you're going to, when you're done drinking it, it's what's left. How long does it last? You know, and so um, the finish to me is a little oaky. What, is there an age statement on this? I mean, what is the rules of Indian single malt? So I only know this because the national brand ambassador slash also an engineer also an engineer oh, wow. great guy uh came to ohio for the launch of this and so wow. this was actually aged for more than five years in first fill buffalo trace barrels okay oh, very nice yes. okay. so they have i guess five years at that climate is a really long time right from what I know, there's the voice of authority. So, if it, okay. so it's aged in India. India? Yeah. Yes, yes. It's actually oh, aged yeah. in India. Yes, Goya, wow. India. I I've, might have I've got a carpet that matches that. Yeah. <laughs> so no, so this is actually true. Indian grown, distilled, aged, finished everything. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's a medium to long finish. There's no doubt. Uh, for me, if there's any aspect that I don't absolutely love, it happens on the finish. It is a little bit of, um, to, I'm picking up a little bit of bitter oak. Just a little bit. And then a lot of the flavors that you, you say I do get throughout. So I'm going to give this finish a 22. I just felt it was the... I, as far as the, the whiskey, it's the weakest part, but it just drops to a 22 up from a 24. It's I mean, it is, yeah, exactly. Right. It's not, it, there by no means is it a bad finish. It leaves an, a pleasant taste in your mouth, but I'm getting a little bit of, if, you know, just some flavors that, yeah, that aren't awesome. my favorite. That's all. So I have to say this one, it, it's hard because most of us come from the bourbon world and that's what we're comparing it to and these big giant long finishes or these ghosts that just disappear and this is neither and it's this uh it, it's like just this lovely like twist that kind of hangs around and you get those cocoa flavors and all of, it's like nothing you have experienced before so i'm going to give it a 23 because there's a time a 25 is is the big long you know all that kind of stuff oh yeah you know, it, it has to be. It has to be like everything that you like completely. Right, right. It has to last for a long time. Yeah. And then, it, and then, what you're left with, it has to like be your favorite flavor to be a 25. And so I, yeah, totally. But this is lovely. Oh yeah, delicious. Yeah. So I, for those on the podcast that know me, which isn't anybody because we've only done this three times, but the. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. In other words, he's talking to no one. Right now. Exactly. Um, no, um, the reality is uh, I love bourbon because of the vanillas and the caramels and the toffees and the butterscotches. Uh, those are the flavors I order at the ice cream parlor. That's what I want out of my bourbon. Um, this is none of those. None. But that doesn't make it bad. Um, the finish to me is where you get a lot of blood orange get that cocoa maybe just a little in the background that anise comes through the longer it sits all flavors that i i don't look for when i'm grabbing a bottle to drink at home but i would grab this bottle um, this bottle is exceptional um i would say um, i mean honestly it's it's paul john classic and uh it's enough to make me go back to church so it's uh I, I'm with you, John a Paul. John it's just, John. Yeah, I know. Religious John. experience. I mean, if it had a Pope Mobile, I'd be in. Um, the, uh, it's the, the Pope Mobile. Uh, yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> there we go. Um, you know, um, so on the finish, I, I, I'm I'm like a 23 and a half. It's not quite a 24. It's not a 25, but it's better than a 23. Oh, he does a he does a whiskey live exclusive first. He puts yeah. a half. Yeah, that's right, buddy. Boom. You know why? 
Because you can, because you're Cause, whiskey. Because I can do any goddamn thing. I'm like. <laughs> All right. I'm a grown ass man. <laughs> At least that's what my mom told me. <laughs> or, or, your, or your son earlier today. Yeah. <laughs> Birthday girl Karen oh, Torres. It has, it has a nice hug. Yeah. Yep. Um, and that's a great one. Mm-hmm. So it's not overpowering. It's not underwhelming. But it's nice. And it stays with you for a while. So I'm going to say it's still great. A 23. Right. 23 on the finish. Brandy. Guys. Uh, finish. 22. 22 oh, on the finish. Right, what'd you give it? A 22. 22. Double deuce. Yeah. You know, you, you know, you know, Xavier, the same way you buy your bush light. Double deuce. Right. James. <laughs> In that alternate universe. Yes. That's how I do it. <laughs> okay. I do get, I, I agree with you. I do get that it's not a drying though, but it's just not. I don't know. It's not. It's just not unappealing, but it's not like, like an. I think. I think with you, you know, kind of hit it. You know, it's not what you know what we look for when we're in a bird. Right, you know, the vanillas, the caramels, the coffees, you know, all that. And it, it, it's not that. It's different. I, I still get like a, a tea, like a green tea and kind of honey on it, which isn't bad, but it's just not. My preference. You but mean it's, it's not bad? Wait, that's still good wait, yeah, it's a good wait are you trying to say it's not your cup of tea? <laughs> <laughs> okay, just check it. All right, so we gotta go. <laughs> that's that's what it is. But okay, so everybody total their scores, and we're gonna we're I'm gonna okay. rate this from the Scotch and Bourbon Live. We got a couple more minutes, so keep going. So this. I was 107 because it answered the bonus James question. James was keeping track. He's already got it added up, and you know what's what's her score? 96. Thank you. I'm 95. That's a good so. man right there. Well, I could tell you I, all along. I knew what you were doing. So yeah, you were together. doing it. You were adding it up. So and it would be really impressive if I just asked you what everybody's score, and then you told me what each person's score was. I just guess. I'm a I could guess. I could guess. I have no idea. Maybe probably closer to two yeah. less seniors. Yeah, because you're not really doing it. Whiskey? I have no idea. I'm probably around a... Yep. I think, I think she, she was a 96, you were a 97. Yeah, I think I'm a 95, 96. Is this Xavier? I mean, all I heard was my job was over, so I'm starting to eat this cake. 21, 21, 40, 43, and 23. Um, six, 43, 60, 63. Wait, 61, 71, 81, 84. Brandon? Let's, let's, Caitlin was a 93. I'm going to go with that. Sure. James? I highly scientific. You were in the right? I think it was 87. Okay. Okay, that's 87. All right, so we're <laughs> divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine. Nine. Why did it do that? Maybe by eight. So it's eight times nine. No, eight twenty-eight twenty eight divided by eight is over a hundred. Why would I? You why would I times it by nine? I would divide it by nine. Let's just call it ninety four. We're gonna be good. Let's try it one more time. Everybody's got their scores. I was. Uh, Wait, we got the department of OHLQ head here. I think she should just call it. Minus five. I was in. She's going to outsource to the uh, engineering. 94. Uh, One more time. She was. Uh, you got to step to those expectations. <laughs> yeah, you know. So. 
Ninety-six. No, no. So not I, so so many. actually. Ordinarily, we have a pad when we're in the Scotchy Bourbon Boy Cave, and so we write everything down and we can add it all up. But because we're remote, we failed. This is our first time out. Yeah, and we've got more computing power here than the world had fifty years ago. By the by, terrible. Right. Thanks. Okay, I had the first computer in my day. I was able to raise the eighty-eight turbo processor. Even when I created the computer screen. Why? Okay. Last time. For those of you, done. for those of you watching on the podcast, Jeff can't get Jeff's trying to <laughs> Jeff trying to finish this level of Angry Birds. Jeff's math is so advanced that he's too much to use five. So he's about to hit, he's about to hit the bonus in Candy Crush. Did you get 92? Uh, I'm good. No. I'm, I'm with Ann. 95. 95.7. Actually, I got 92. 92. Is that what you got? That's probably right. I just pulled out my ass. Ah! I figured it, all the numbers going around. No, I just I just went and I, and I got 92. That's what I got. Let's go with it, man. Right. Right. I, got 92. Right. I, I, went, I went and added it all up. I was remembering what everybody had. And right. it was 92. Right. So, okay, everybody. Um, out of the whole group of this Scotchy Bourbon Boys whiskey live tasting, we give Paul John Indian Single Malt Ohio with the exclusive a 92 out of 100. So um, one give all right, that's one right. Everybody, yeah. cheers. Okay. Cheers. 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 Thanks for joining us, everyone. Oh, they're already out. They're out. They are. Yeah, they are. Oitoq.com. Um, they were released it in the north, Grease Road Liquor. Uh, I got this bottle from Chateau Wine and Spirits in Columbus. And I believe it was Centerville Liquor and Wine in like the Dayton, Cincinnati area. So nobody up here. Green Road? Green Road? We have one of the you know green roads there are in Ohio? No, Green Road Liquor. It's like, it's a that was the national brand of Massimer came. All right, everybody. All right. Uh, thank you uh, once again. Uh, until the next Whiskey Live, uh, good night. Remember, good bourbon equals good friends and good times. And go out there and live dangerously. Thanks for joining us. Yep. Shout out again to the